Okay, so uh, let's discuss uh, AMD trench boot support in Grab2. Um, so I will not reintroduce myself, um, uh, but uh, what is this talk about? Uh, so what we want to talk is, is trench boot. Trench boot is uh, open source DRTM implementation, like a kind of alternative to T-boot, uh, but improved and cross uh, architecture. And during this talk, we would like to focus on AMD implementation inside one of the components of the ecosystem, which is Grab. So we would like to discuss uh, Grab2 modification that helps in enabling uh, trench boot. Um, and of course, we would like to uh, talk about, okay, what was already done, uh, how it works right now, and how it can be improved to be uh, um, like, uh, good enough to be merged upstream. Uh, so what kind of assumptions we, we had? Of course, like we don't have, like sub, uh, we didn't tested that and supported that on too many platforms. We mostly focused on uh, PC Engine CPU2 uh, as a reference platform and Core Boot as a firmware. Um, of course, this should be portable and should be kind of firmware independent, but uh, maybe, there, maybe still there are some, like there may be some relations. Uh, as the, at this point, we store co uh, Grab in, in, in SPI, and this is our default uh, test environment. Um, of course, we, um, we would like to uh, test the same thing uh, on UFI modern uh, Risen uh, platform, or even Epic. Um, and yeah, so, but, you know, we have to wait for that uh, right now. Uh, what kind of uh, goals bootload, bootloader or grab have to um, achieve um, to, to help trench boot uh, execute? So first of all, uh, it has to load uh, a trench, trench boot capable Linux kernel. Uh, it has to uh, initialize secure launcher, which is kind of uh, our small binary um, open, uh, open source uh, binary uh, and then have to load this uh, this secure launcher uh, or secure loader which we call landing zone and execute it um, and there is there are special ways and special things related how it can be executed uh, it involves some piece small piece of assembly uh, but let's let's move on um, so what means um, lo loading uh, trench boot capable Linux kernel uh, so first of all, like uh, of course, kernel can be loaded from any possible supported uh, Grab2 um, storage, um, but but we only tested CBFS so far. Um, of course, uh, like we would like to extend the validation to to some normal like regular storage. Probably this would be stored ex in exactly the same place as regular uh, operating system, um, and. Uh, and of course, like uh, at this point, like this is not so. Uh, there, there are no changes in this area. We just simply load the kernel and and grab to not change anything here. Um, then we have to initialize a secure launcher, and uh, what was done uh, by by developers was uh, uh, they they added a command which is called s launch, and this s launch command uh, gets one parameter which is either SK init, either TXT, uh, which, which kind of uh, tells to uh, bootloader uh, what secure launch we would like to execute in, in future, and please prepare for, for that. Um, so what, what really happened inside is uh, when we choose SK init, it checks that, that we really run on AMD uh, processor, and the, this processor in CPU ID uh, returns uh, flags that uh, that confirm that SKE really can be executed on that platform. Um, otherwise, if we are not capable platform or we mistakenly issued uh, on incorrect, uh, like we issue SKE init on Intel platform, we get error. Um, of course, if ref if everything is fine, uh, there is there is some kind of function related to uh, initializing the. Uh, given secure launch, um, and and you, you know it, we just 
set up correct function to continue the boot in, in further phases. This is all this uh, slaunch command does right now. So then we have like more complicated piece of uh, code, which is uh, landing zone, um, and of course, like it is uh, loaded from from uh, grab to supported storage. Um, right now, we tested that as a and build that as a part of um, core boot, uh, but you know we have to think how how this should be built and how this should be included in the system. Um, I assume there are some there are some ideas to move that part to Yocto, uh, and I'm not really uh, right now. I don't know how it would be laid out in the future. Uh, I assume that Yocto has higher priority than core boot build system. Um, and then we co uh, have this uh, this another uh, command uh, s launch module, uh, which which as a parameter takes a landing zone file location. And uh, this is like required parameter for it, and it made some checks on that uh, uh, on that file. For example, it checks if it's not zero zero size, or uh, there is also new type introduced in Grab uh, for this for this file. So it recognizes that this is a secure launcher, um, and and check if the, and only loads it if if the type uh, complies to the required type. Uh, um, if if uh, relocator uh, which helps us run a kernel uh, in the next phases also like we use that for lz execution uh, it's not uh, it's not existent in at this point it is created and then there is a memory allocation for um, for for our lz uh, which happens at at fixed uh, address of course this is kind of ugly uh, and we should think how, how to how to how we should um, uh, implement that correctly. Uh, this is 64k, um, and uh, the type is grab relocated preference known like like the, the flags for allocation are are like that. Um, then we're just getting the virtual and physical address of uh, allocated memory and feed grab s launch module structure with those uh, with those addresses. And then you will create this. This structure um, is provided to um, is, is set up as a first element of S launch module list. So probably the assumption is that we could have multiple uh, components there. At this point, we have just just one. And then uh, 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 LZ file is just uh, read and allocate and put in inside the allocated memory. So it's like. Uh, um, S launch module is responsible for kind of validating, uh, checking, and loading LZ into memory in correct place. And then we have boot process. Um, in, in this, this happened on the, uh, at the end of the grab Linux boot function, um, and instead of calling um, immediately grab relocator 32 boot. Um, um, if the function grab s launch func was set, which was done by the s launch ske in this first this this first uh, command that I mentioned, which extend grab, um, this this uh, this command sets up this function grabs s launch func, um, and if this func uh, function was uh, set, uh, it's not null, then um, uh, the sl param structure is filled and um, um, that, that function is called, whatever it is, if it is uh, SKE specific or TXT specific. Then, um, and yeah, of course, like grab s launch boot SKE is the function that, that is related to AMD platforms. Um, the the s launch func uh, set the pointer uh, to like provide like, Sets the pointer of uh, pointer to Linux kernel parameters at given location. This is also up to discussion. This is probably done incorrectly done, uh, now, and I have this in known issue section. Uh, we definitely have to talk about. Um, and then it gets uh, it checks the list of the modules um, and just uh, takes takes the element from the from the list and uh, move on with that. Then set uh, all 
application processor in init state because this is a requirement of calling uh, secure launch uh, SK init instruction. Um, and this is right now done like very ugly, like direct uh, write to the APIC. Um, if I don't know how portable it is, uh, probably it's not so portable. We have to consider probably, uh, I don't know how, how what would be different between uh, processor families, but right now we have just tested what we have. Uh, then we initialize this um, and close all active and requested localities just to clean up the any possible QE of uh, uh, localities in, in TPM. And, um, you know, according to according to trench boot specification, uh, the registers are set in the correct way. Of course, like uh, e, uh, ESP is only for debug purpose because uh, we had in, inside SK init function um, we had uh, some uh, debugging uh, stuff. That's why we we uh, set stack pointer uh, to a real mode target. And then call grab um, relocator32 boot. Okay, so how uh, how to build recent code? Everything is on branches. It's also kind of ugly. That's why we want to start to get rid of various forks and various branches in uh, in the tree of uh, trench boot ecosystem. Um, so first of all, core boot. Uh, we built everything with core boot right now. Uh, there is a branch, uh, PC, uh, PCNG Strange Boot uh, V4102, which is kind of modern one. Uh, then we have kind of containerized builder for all that stuff. Uh, and you just initialize modules and just call the uh, build. Uh, and what you finish up with is just one binary, which you flash to your PCNG's platform and and, and boot trench boot. Yeah. Of course, uh, it has some assumptions. For example, the, one of the assumptions is uh, that uh, um, because, because it executes Zen uh, by default, like after, uh, so we have like uh, core boot, uh, then we have grab, then we have SKE to um, trench boot capable Linux kernel, which use uroot as a, as a uh, rootfs, and then there is kexec, uh, to known location, which is on SDA1, uh, where the Zen kernel is, because we then k-exec to Zen, and then Zen runs uh, whatever uh, virtual machines we want on this on this hardware or on this application. So yeah, so that's that's the assumptions, but it doesn't matter. It just we just want to prove that the grab correctly execute SK init and boots the system. Um, yeah. So we would like to get rid of, of this kind of fragmentation and make it like more uh, mainline uh, friendly. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Okay, so, so how the grab CFG really look like? It's like very simple. Uh, we just like load the Linux uh, with the path to the, uh, wherever Linux uh, kernel is, uh, with the parameters we want. Uh, then we decide what kind of, um, uh, what kind of procedure we want to we want to run? I don't know if this is not redundant. I, I I'm, I'm I'm not sure like if this is really needed. Uh, then uh, we just s launch uh, run s launch module and provide a landing zone binary, and we just execute boot and every all the magic going on behind the scene. Yeah. So how the div stat look like right now? Um, and yeah, so like uh, 1,600 uh, lines changed um, in 15 files. I, you know, I want to discuss that like step by step. Uh, so uh, we had like three contributors, we can say, if we can't think me with some like very, uh, everything was deleted that I did, but anyway. Uh, so we have Ross from Oracle, we have Christian from 3MDEP and me. Um, so, so uh, talking uh, file by file, like of course it doesn't make sense to discuss all this in details, uh, but just briefly to, to show what's, what's in the files, I believe this could be a good roadmap for discussion uh, for Q&A session. So of course make files have to be extended with a new module 
and with TPM support. Uh, then um, uh, there was other TC, uh, which kind of, I don't know, like this was weird for me uh, that we have, uh, I didn't know if, if uh, Grab already has structure for um, read 8, uh, read 32, and this kind of IO uh, related functions. Um, there, of course, there were some TIS related functions like init, send, receive data, receive, request locality, which I believe like the heart of this, uh, of this modification. Then we have TPM, which kind of, ah, there should be PCR here, um, I assume, um, which kind of contain one most important function, uh, which is used further uh, in the code, uh, which is grab TPM PCR extend. Um, then we have modification to uh, Linux kernel loader. Um, there is function um, grab Linux s launch set, which kind of sets, sets this function. This is like a heart of the uh, s launch command uh, because this just sets this uh, pointer to the function uh, that will be further called. Um, then the Christian. Um, yeah, so then Christian copy, copy the, uh, added copying the command line to final address, but this is not used anymore because we kind of understood that the locator uh, should do it, uh, should solve that problem. And uh, yeah, so, so, but the relocator is needed deep in the stack, so we have to somehow pass it or somehow obtain it. I, I don't know, like we're just passing it right now uh, with uh, uh, grab s launch function. Okay, and then uh, like probably one of the key changes is s launch c uh, module, and uh, uh, so we have like functions like get module, add module, which is and free, which is default for all modules in, in Grab. Uh, we have command s launch and command s launch module, and some some you know additional module functions uh, needed, and. Uh, I added some allocation of memory through grab allocator alloc chunk align. I don't know if this is correct. Uh, that was I, that was from my discussion with uh, with Ross, uh, but this was just through messenger, so uh, through wire. So I don't know how uh, if I made it correctly. Nobody reviewed that. Uh, then Christian did the address alignment and um, uh, relocate K kernel to the address. The initial idea was that this is because of, of dev, uh, but then we get information from, uh, from MD that, that dev, dev is not working and it's like should not be used and uh, we should stick to IOMMU. And of course, we, I don't know how this changed this area of the code, uh, but, but uh, usage of dev uh, is no longer valid and we have to use IOMMU and to be honest, I, like this is also my open known issue. Uh, I don't know if this is thing of uh, firmware to configure IOMMU and then somehow, I don't know, like Grab should use that or reconfigure that to the given situation. I don't know, like this is something that we have to discuss. And then another very important modification is s launch SK C. Uh, which kind of course like there is also txt but we don't care much about that I believe like uh, Daniel's <laughs> more worried about s launch txtc uh, and uh, yeah there was like Ross just added the placeholder yeah, I, I call it this sk init in ASP but then like Christian did like all the heavy lifting of that uh, uh, improve sk in calling code um, and like added uh, allocate zero page uh, using grab uh, relocate alloc chunk, um, implement a skin in function with the booking clock in assembler. So, but uh, I believe like this should be removed uh, right now. We don't need that anymore, but it was needed when we yeah, even didn't know if this is called it correctly, if we get to that point. Um, and then, then he f realized like he had to use uh, grab relocate 32. Um, then we removed uh, allocate zero page and used fix it um, offset. Um, and then um, there, there was important change because uh, without, without that we had like something wrong values in, in or even no values, I don't remember, 
in TPM. So we have to kind of request uh, clearing up the active and requested localities in TPM. And of course, all the um, APs should be put in init state because otherwise SK init doesn't work. Yeah, so these are uh, changes in TXT that, that we based on. I, I assume like it's way more right now. And some header changes like with some defines uh, with additional file type that I mentioned um, and like a definition of the of the functions for IO. Um, one more time, I, like it's, I don't know, like it's probably that's some mess here. Um, some MSRs had to be added, uh, read MSR and write MSR functions also. Um, yeah, definitions of functions and structures related to whole implementation. Okay, and known issues that, uh, that I noted, I probably, mm, yeah, there is something that is, yeah, yes, I have more here. Um, it's like, I, I just forget. I just added that yesterday a couple more and, you know, like just, uh, Anyway, like we will, we will get through that. So as I said, this, this kind of fixed address should be replaced with some, I don't know, define, or we should get that value somehow uh, pro programmatically. Um, as Christian mentioned, uh, the pointer to kernel parent should be at the end of S SLB and, and not measured by, by SKN in it because the pointer is, can be changed, but I believe we want to measure the values which are behind the pointer. Uh, 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 SK init function should be cleaned. This is like very simple stuff. Uh, but the question is what we really want to, if we want to have some debugging structure there, debugging features there, or, or we don't, or we want to have two functions. That's the question. Um, yeah, so, so this is the same reason. Um, after allocating space, uh, uh, memmove throws exception with, with other. Uh, so if we allocate this in that way, uh, using that in, in memmove uh, throws exception, I don't know if this is still valid, but at least at the development time it was valid. Uh, um, yeah, so yeah, mm, we just reused uh, grappler locator 32 boot, and the question is, if this is also correct approach, if everything is fine, uh, how how portable across uh, let's say to 64 bit uh, if it is portable i don't know like it's like um uh, yeah so the question is what's the c correct trademark uh, allocation way in 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 grab but i believe uh, daniel will explain that to us um yeah so definitely like some code could be rewritten to be more human readable and manageable in long run um yeah, so I also wonder if just checking the type and if, if the LZ is not zero is good enough. Um, yeah, other, other things I believe we will talk about during the QA session. Yeah, and that's all. That's all for this presentation.